Hey, welcome back to Lasco Ford. This is gonna be the Ford Transit moto van, motocross van, conversion van, kind of all wrapped into one with our twist on it. Because we do have a lot of customers that are looking for very specific and unique vans at the moment. So we're gonna base this off of a crew package that's gonna be on a T350 HD platform. What does that all mean? We're gonna kind of walk you through this and give you a couple of the tidbits and the things that you really need to look for when ordering a van of this caliber to custom fit it just the way that you want. First thing that I would start off by saying, and the most, most coveted thing in a van of this size and what I would personally recommend is gonna be what's underneath the hood. What's underneath the hood on this T350 motor van, moto van is gonna be the 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. Now it's not the only engine that's offered, there's another 3.5 liter. So just just be careful while taking a look that it says EcoBoost with it. What does that EcoBoost give you? Well, a heck of a lot more horsepower and torque and a lot better towing capability. Now your towing capability on a van like this is gonna be north of 6,000 pounds. Now you're gonna have all kinds of different ways to look through the, the vehicle itself and make sure that you're getting the right product. A good place to start is at transitbodydecoder.com. So if you're looking for a canvas and you wanna paint the picture, not only can we do that with the right artist ready to go, but what we're gonna look at is going, let's make sure that we've got the right platform for what you need it to have, right? So let's start out with some of the accoutrements and a couple of the amenities that are gonna be on a vehicle like this. Now this is based off the crew vehicle, okay? So the crew's gonna give you this blacked out headlight design, which is a bi-xenon headlamp with a daytime running light. Now you're also gonna have an LED turn signal built into the van, and then when you look down here, your turns, when you turn the wheel itself, this fog lamp will illuminate and give you a cornering light. Not only that, but you're gonna see some sensing systems, not only on the front, but the side sensing system on this specific van. Now this is an all wheel drive platform. So for 2020, 2021 in the transit vehicles, you're able to get them in either rear wheel drive or an all wheel drive setup. Beautiful thing about that is there's so much more that we've done to this van specifically to make sure that it's just right for the customer. This one specifically gonna be doing some motocross, gonna make sure that they're gonna be comfortable going from Michigan to Georgia to ride during the winter season. And then also, well, you could do just about anything. Tailgating, going to different sporting events, whether it's gonna be a fishing tournament or a hunt camp, wherever you wanna go, this vehicle's able to take that on. Now, you also have an adventurer package which is gonna itemize a bunch of different individual options and kind of group those together. If you've got questions about any of these things, like, subscribe, check out our website, and just feel free to pick up the phone and we'll be able to walk you through them. There is significantly an abundance of options that you can go with, not only on the configuration, but also on the options and equipment inside. So let's talk about that just a little bit. This is gonna be a 148 inch wheelbase, they offer two. You get 130 inch or 148 inch. This is the 148 inch. Now, in order to get an HD or the dual rear wheel, when you hear HD, that's what it's gonna represent. But if you're gonna get that, it's gonna be the tallest, it's gonna be the longest that's offered. Most of the vans that we're dealing with are medium roof. Medium roof on the interior of the vehicle is gonna be five foot 10 on the inside. Now if you go with a high roof, it gives you six foot five inches on the inside of the vehicle. But anytime you go with the highest roof and the longest length to, in order to get that HD or that dual rear wheel, you know we've got the biggest of what Ford has to offer for the Ford Transit. Now this has got the bigger running board that's gonna be running along as well. We're gonna get into the interior of the vehicle too, so just be patient with me on that. This is gonna also have this big rock guard going down the side and a very thin, only a three inch wheel well going on the dual rear wheel. Now when you take a look at the actual wheel itself, you have an option. You can have the standard steel wheel or this, the upgraded forged aluminum wheel. When you see that upgraded forged aluminum wheel, it almost looks like chrome. Beautiful look that goes along to it and it kind of accents that stainless steel look going down the side where your door rail is. Now if you look up above, we have the Fiamma 12 foot six inch awning that's gonna be on this vehicle and that is automatic. I'll tell you right now, there's about a four to five month waiting period if you're gonna order this on your own. If you order it through us and we do an upfit for you, we can get it significantly quicker. Now you've got LEDs that are gonna be running on the outside of the vehicle as well. And what that's gonna do is when the awning is out, gives you all that, uh, that, that uh, light for underneath the awning for things at night after the race is done, you're cleaning off your bike, going through that way. We've, we've got a way to, to light that up. Not only that, but it'll light up the way that we're gonna be adding water to the water tanks on this vehicle. Then you're gonna notice this. Here's another little catch, a little cavity 
caveat there you want to pay attention to. This right here, in 2021, Ford now offers this as an optional equipment for a 250 degree swinging door, okay? So they're gonna give you a standard door of 180 degrees. This is gonna fold it all the way back to the door to 253. Let me show you that real quick. So this is where you're gonna stop at a 90. You're gonna go to right here where a, this is where your 180 door standard will be. This is the 253. That'll also take that and actually magnetize it to the side of the vehicle. What that'll stop is, Things like high winds taking that door and shutting it on you. Um, and I apologize for my voice, it's a little hoarse at the moment. <clears throat> but we also take a look inside and we're gonna go ahead and dive right in. So on this package that we're doing exclusively with Waldock is gonna be an interior conversion van, right? So we'll start out from the floor and kind of work our way up. But on the floor, we're gonna have this, which is gonna be the composite flooring that can pretty much handle anything you wanna throw at it. Oh, well, yeah, definitely. So we've got more lighting, so let's get a little bit better lighting view. Here, here, and here. So we've got the LED lighting factory from Ford. In addition to that, we've got another seven more LEDs that are gonna go inside other than the four that Ford is giving you now. Up here, up here, <clears throat> we're gonna have a manual crank or a power crank on this fan here. So we can open that up and we're able to literally turn on that fan with a remote. So we'll take the remote here and you're able to turn the fan on, the fan speed up. This will crank open and it's able to open and close with buttons here, turning it on and off. And you can even have an auto climate setting on the interior of the van as well. Very easy to do. Other things too, we've got the marine grade speaker system that's in the back. The reason why we did that and why you'll see all everything is sealed up is to be able to hose this right out without having any water issues whatsoever. So the walls are all completely covered. Now you have an interior upgrade package. This is a thicker gauge wall than what comes standard from Ford. So you're gonna have the wiring that's gonna be ran through here, the upper and lower with bull nose rings going all the way through. Diamond plating covering up any of the very important, obviously, electronics that are gonna come through. Another set of speakers running up top and another set of speakers in the door. So you have six speakers just in the back of the vehicle. And this is all very easy to control. Now you have your power right here, which we're able to turn on and look down here to see a 3000 watt power inverter. And then you're gonna have all the wiring ran and hidden in here along with a six cell battery that's inside. That's all hinged up, so that's nice. You've got another storage compartment here. What's gonna be here is that inverter has a connection and you'll see this plug, we'll show you in a minute, but this plug is gonna actually hook to the outside of the vehicle and this hose is able to be tied in, in a spot just below where your fire extinguisher is in the back of the truck too. Now you have the 110 outlets all the way throughout. So you have three prong plugs here. You have them down right below where the inverter is. You have ventilation for the inverter as well. Tinted glass that's gonna go along with it and door trim to finish. So this is fully equipped, ready to go, turnkey ready to hit the race. What's that? The hose, oh yeah, sorry. This is where the hose hooks up here. So you'll plug the hose in right there and that's an expandable hose. So you can reach out 20 feet away from the van, so the nice thing is there, you're not gonna have mud puddles that you're tromping through going in and out of the van after you're done taking care of the vehicle, right? <clears throat> Shut the doors, as simple as just slamming the, the driver's door first and then the passenger door second. Simply take it and you're able to just shut it. There's no, no additional buttons or switches or anything else that you need to do. Up top on this, you're gonna have a rear view camera along with three LEDs. That's where your backup camera is gonna to go to. Before, it was placed just underneath over here. What they found out is the road grime, dirt debris, was uh, a lot easier to make that camera dirty by the end of the day. The other thing too is they wanted it higher for things like basketball hoops, garage door openers, or garage doors themselves, and just making sure that you're not chewing up the top of the van. And that's protecting a, you know, your $4,000 awning that's on the side of the vehicle as well. You might want to think about that one before you back into a basketball hoop. <clears throat> On the side here, we talked about the smart plug. This is going to be where the 3,000 watt inverter is going to be able to be plugged in. Not only you, but you and the rest of your friends can enjoy that race or that NASCAR event, that camping trip, you know, that, that, that tailgating opportunity. You're going to be the life of the party with a van like this, no questions asked. Again, coming back through, seeing those wheels again that we mentioned, which are the forged wheels, they do accent the front well. You got a keyless entry keypad system that's gonna be on the van as well on this specific vehicle. The other thing too is there's, you know, we said the tidbits. Well, here's some of the tidbits. You can get two extra keys for a hundred, or I'm sorry, for $75. So instead of just the two keys that comes with the van, 
you can get an extra, key, an extra two keys for 75 bucks. No brainer. Run with the dual batteries too, that's an option on this vehicle. So the, two, the dual batteries will be underneath the driver's seat and you're gonna see we've got a 10-way power driver's seat on this. Now that's available in either cloth or leather, either way. Now this does have, because we have the short arms on the mirrors, these are gonna be a power folding mirror. So the power folding mirror with blind spot awareness turned signal belt into the mirror as well. I know that was a couple questions that a few of you had for me. Steve specifically, I'm giving you a shout out on that one, uh, asking about, hey, does that short arm have that turn signal built into the mirror? That's important to some people, definitely important to Steve. He's been talking about it. We want to make sure you know you've got that. Things that we want to talk about now is going to be the interior of the second row of this van. So on the second row, you know, you're, because we're in the crew, it comes standard with three passengers in that second row. Well, we've changed that up. You now have, you know, the, the three seats that are here. You're going to see the seat belts again. We, we have a second remote for the front of, the, of this van. You can see where all the suede interior is. And hold on, we'll, we'll get that turned up a little bit for you, too, because there's some additional lighting. Just like you saw the light switches in the back, there's two more here. And that'll give you ambient lighting. That's gonna be all the way up around the suede headliner, up underneath here where your shade is to pull this down. All of that's gonna be able to be illuminated. It's all extremely clean and very, very tight. Waldock did a great job on this van. Cubby holes are everywhere. More, okay, you have a speaker here, another speaker on the opposing side. Storage compartments that are everywhere in here, so they use, utilize the space well. Even the bottom part of this seat here will fold up and allow you to have more storage underneath that seat, or you can double that with a subwoofer, amplifier, or an additional um, power um, converter there as well. We've got 3,000 in the back. The customer here said he might do another 2,000 in the front. Now, is this a bed, is that LA flat? It does. So the bed here, you just lift here, and that'll fold into a bed. And if you feel this, like, can you see how, I mean, I would no problem to sleep on that, right? So, and it's easy to put it back too. You can do it either from this angle here, usually just grab onto the back side of that cushion and then push it on down. Now above where the remote is, this is where you're gonna see that Fiamma uh, 12 foot six inch, uh, you know, awning come out. So we'll retract or extend. So we're gonna extend that real quick. No more taking a crank and figuring it out. It literally is just gonna roll down the whole way. And what that does, we could keep going and going. I mean, it goes out like literally 10 feet. So it's huge. I mean, talk about the life of the party, right? So no problem there. Easy access from the front to the back. And that's not fully extended. We'll, we'll keep going. We'll get a, a still shot or something of that. But on the interior, here is your welcome bag to all the manuals that they have that come along with all of this stuff that's going to be inside of this van. Lock, unlock, you got your power seats on the driver's side or on the passenger side as well. Underneath here, this is where your jack and roadside assistance equipment is gonna be here. You've got more cup holders than you know what to do with inside of here. So big bottles or Gatorades and big tall bottles of water, no problem to have all that inside. This is the newer design for the, that front screen. So this came out in 2020, this relocation of this screen here as well. It's so a little bit larger screen than what you've been working with. The placement is great. They used to have a big hub up here. They brought that down just a little bit and recessed it a little bit better too. Heated seats on the vehicle. You're gonna have you know, your six speed fan that's gonna be on it as well, along with trailer brake controller any, anytime you're ordering that heavy duty trailer um, hitch, right? So anytime you order that hitch, this is coming with it. It makes you order it. And then you've got these three, or I'm sorry, four different auxiliary switches <coughs> that you can utilize. One more thing to bring up, 2021 buyers, make sure you're paying attention to your upper shelf. Make sure that that order's in there because that's a $75 option and you don't want to be without it. I can promise you that. You're not gonna be able to replace it for $75, just like the keys we talked about earlier. Other things to pay attention to, those bi xenon lights that we showed you in the front, those are about $3,000 to have put in after the fact. The only way to get those lights is if you're gonna be in a, in a passenger van or if you're gonna be in the crew van. This is gonna be based off of a crew model, okay? And then it's upgraded from there. Things we didn't talk about. I know we've got the bulkhead in here, but listen to the side, like. I mean, I could hit it with a sledgehammer and it doesn't really even tell you how solid that is. I mean, that is 
having it done, having it done right, turnkey ready, hit the road, hit the races, and go have some fun. Especially with everything that we've seen in the last 2019, 20, this is the way that a lot of people have gotten themselves out of doing the norm. Going out and still doing the things that are fun to do without spending the money that you're gonna have to spend to have a hotel room or a major huge RV. You can save yourself hundreds of thousands of dollars by simply doing a quick conversion that's extremely comfortable, luxurious, and able to do anything you wanna do for the sporting habits while all keeping it clean. This is the Ford Transit T350 all-wheel drive conversion van from Waldock exclusively at Lasco Ford. We wanted to just give you a quick rundown of what we're able to do. Looking forward to talking to you soon. Our number here, 810-629-2255, or check out some of our inventory. We do have more of these coming, so please give us a call in advance. They will go quick, and they're usually pre-sold. Just remember, we are delivering these anywhere. This one is going to Florida. So keep that in mind. My name is Paul Zagman here at Lasco Ford, and this is our Moto Van.